Should old acquaintance be forgotten, never brought to As I started thinking about my vows at 4.30 this morning, I thought about exactly what to say. I quickly realized how hard it is to specify the moment. Whether that be the moment we fell in love, the moment I knew you were the one, or the best moment we've had together. We've had too many incredible moments together for me to specify just one. Shane. We finally made it to the altar after 12 and a half years of dating and one year of being legally bound. Hallelujah. <laughs> Through those 12 and a half years, we've lived together for five and a half, bought two homes, raised two chocolate fur babies, traveled globally, and made amazing memories along the way. We've also gone through very difficult times, including the deaths of loved ones, a tornado hitting our house, and living in separate countries. Despite the good and the difficult, our relationship has continued to evolve as we have grown into the people we are today. And I know the man standing before me is the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. I am honored to have you, Shane, be a part of our family and married to my beloved Taylor. I wish for you, Taylor and Shane, that in your marriage, you will always remember to find your own special ways to convey your love for each other. I love you both to double infinity and beyond. You look great, Shane. Last night at the rehearsal dinner, I did what statisticians enjoy doing. I collected real data on Taylor and Shane. Question one, write one word you think best describes Taylor. Question two, write one word that you think best describes Shane. There are only three descriptors that appeared in both lists. We clearly have evidence that opposites really do attract. I vow to always be there for you and our family, to always put you first, to do everything I can to support you, to cherish every moment we have together, to do the little things that put a smile on your face, and most importantly, to put our love before anything else. I love you. I vow to give 100% to our marriage so that it may continue to flourish and thrive. I vow to support you in your wants and desires. I vow to love you fiercely and passionately. I can't wait to start a family with you, and I vow to always put our family first. And most importantly, I vow to always share my food with you <laughs> and offer the last bite, even when we know I'm gonna be the one who eats it. I love you so much, and thank you for being the man that you are. You By the power vested in me, I am happy to once again pronounce Shane Bradley and Taylor Margaret as husband and wife. Shane Bradley, you may kiss the bride.
I now present to you Mr. and Dr. Hartman. I can't wait to see what's in store for your future. To Mr. and Dr. Hartlob. To my sister and my brother-in-law, may your ups and downs be only in the bedroom. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> you. May the waters be calm, the wind at your back, and your sails full. May the sun shine warm on your face, and your course together be clear. May you always find a port in a storm, and may your voyage be filled with love and laughter. To Taylor and Shane. <laughs>